Hi guys, today we're going to just cover off on uh, how to use Wave with Photoshop. So we're going to show you a couple of basics you can use to uh, either make somebody look a little bit thinner than they are or just to manipulate backgrounds or manipulate objects to, uh, to change the shape of them. Um, in this case we've got a picture of Jennifer Love Hewitt that we've taken off the web and we're going to try and make her look a little bit thinner. Um, to do that we're going to go to Filter and we're going to use the Liquify function. From there you can adjust your size of your brush and basically what this means is a smaller brush is better for something like the love handles a larger brush is better if you want to actually make an entire a fairly large area um, slightly thinner and you want to push it in so um, what we're going to do in this case is we'll take the brush size up to about uh, 500 just as an example and we'll push that in and just so you can see how the manipulation works now one of the things you'll notice is it stretches the background and it also manipulates the area. So in some cases we've actually got to use a bit of freezing to try to um, prevent certain uh, of the background areas from, from shifting around. Um, to do that I'm just going to reduce the brush size down to about 30. We're going to use the freeze tool which you can either click on there or you can push F. Um, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to actually just select this area and say well alright we don't want to manipulate this area at all so we're going to highlight that also going to highlight that crack in the arm there just where the skin meets because we don't want that to be changed either um, and you may actually want to run it all the way down to the elbow here so that uh, this area doesn't get manipulated either so what we'll do now is we'll take the brush size back up to about 500 and We'll go back to our original tool and if we push this in now you'll notice that that area that we've frozen is actually not moving as much and if we go back and we actually remove that now you'll notice we've actually overdone it a bit but her arm looks much than it did before. Now you can use this for any area of the body so we can basically go back in again and we can use this to push in any area of the body that we want to and as I mentioned in the article obviously if you um, manipulate too much it is going to look a little bit weird so there are some limitations to uh, the functionality it's not a, a, a perfect uh, tool um, and you can actually use it just to make objects bigger if you want to as well so you could actually use it to stretch out something if you really wanted to um, what I meant by the brush size is I'm going to take it right down and just show you there that in some cases you may actually want to change it down if you want to try push the um, the love handles in a bit or something minor like that you may want to just try push any bulges in if that's your uh, if that's the particular issue that you're looking at um, and you can actually use it to extend out as well so um, if we increase the brush size here we could actually use it to try make her costume look like it's coming a little bit higher but obviously we need to work with the freeze tool to make sure that we're actually doing it properly so we'll go back in and we'll do an example on the other arm just to show it again we've got this arm here we actually need to reduce the brush size down just do some freezing quickly so we're just going to freeze that area there we may want to just freeze around the hair area here just to make sure we cover that we can't do too much manipulation around here um, we'll take it back up to around 500 again and we can actually push this in and again the freeze tool becomes particularly important when you start working with areas like between the legs here because if you want to push this thigh in it's obviously going to manipulate the background so um, it's probably a little bit small so for example what we're going to do is we're going to push the one leg in to try and make it look a little, uh, little bit thinner and we need to try make sure that we don't have this leg stretching out across so that's the basics of it obviously there's limitations you're not going to be able to um, 
you know, take somebody from a size 24 down to a size 8, um, but you could probably um, manipulate a little bit and, and drop a couple of kilos off the average person if you want to, and uh, it does work quite effectively. Um, and obviously it's not limited to, to losing weight, you can use it for pretty much any objects you want to manipulate or stretch around, and you could even use it if you want to for uh, playing around with mates, if you want to actually stretch out and make somebody look a little bit uh, bigger than they actually are. Um, you could use it for having a bit of fun if you really wanted to. So, but that's the basics of it. It's not that difficult to work with. Um, it just comes down to actually using the uh, the tools. There are tools like the pucker tool. So basically, what that will do is it'll actually uh, pull everything in towards that single point. So um, if we just uh, restore all, go back to normal. Let's get rid of these. Let's change up brush level down to a slightly smaller size. Um, the pucker tool you could use if you wanted to try just sort of pull in an area make it look a little bit now obviously the brush size we're using here is probably a little bit small but you could actually try use it just to pull in an area and make it look like uh, it's not bulging as much there um, but again it's not perfect um, and if you want to do a job of, of actually really trying to uh, change something like this, it's probably going to create a lot more work. Um, this is really just the basics, just to show you what you can do with Photoshop.